Hey guys, so this is how I catch Moina to feed my fish. So we've got a really fine mesh here that will allow water to pass through but won't allow Moina to pass through because they're really small. And we also have another net mesh that lets the Moina pass through here and doesn't allow all the mosquito larvae to pass through this mesh here. So it's on a long six foot stick and we're gonna go see a body of water that we know that has moina so i'm gonna show you guys so it's currently four in the morning and this is the best time to actually come and catch moina because the water and the weather is much cooler so the moina will actually compact together in a group so it's making it easier for us to actually catch them this is a watering hole for buffaloes and cows so as you can expect the water is um, stagnant which is where the moina actually feed on so the water will turn green from the sun and the moina will actually repopulate and really really thrive in this sort of environment so i'm just going to go around the edges with this net and hopefully i can catch some and show you guys what they look like so before we go anywhere i just want to show you guys what moina looks like and why we actually catch them in the early mornings so this is what they look like really really small microscopic food for bedders this is the best food that you can actually feed your bedders and your better fry um, these little bugs is what we don't want so that's what the blue mesh is for to filter out all these uh, mosquito larvae and these bugs so in the early mornings these moina here they're actually clumped together like this they're attracted to the light just like brine shrimp so uh, so this is what they look like and there's literally millions and millions and millions of them in this pool of water so i'm just going to go around the edges and catch as many as i can it's a lot of work but the sacrifice that you have to do to get the best food for your fish your arm hurts after a while so you just go like this obviously it's better to have a bigger net but the water here is shallow so bigger net is not ideal so we're just gonna go around keep going like this I actually won't show you guys me catching the whole of the pond. I'll just show you guys a little bit of how we catch it. My arm's getting tired. Usually I do this with two hands. So after about five minutes, this is what we've got. We probably have about maybe five, six hundred grams here, and this should be enough to feed a dozen fish. So obviously it's got mud and everything mixed together. So we're going to wash this out, and we're going to show you guys what Moina looks like. So this is what I've been doing for the last five minutes. Just been doing it like this, slowly and steady. The reason I'm doing it slow is because I don't want to get all the mud, the gunk into the Moina because this is a lot harder work to actually wash it. So there's a lot left and you can see all these little bugs this is what we don't want so that's what the blue filter uh blue mesh helps with so yeah let's go see what they look like okay so after we've done washing and cleaning all of this here's all the moina collected out here and i'm just doing this really quick guys i'm not doing this really as i should be doing so you put it like this and here's all the moina, all this red, red bit here. And I'm just gonna do a quick rinse so it runs down the bucket. Okay, so after we washed it all down, this is what we have left. And this is all moina ready to be fed to our fish.
the help of my wife, we're gonna filter this one more time and show you guys how much we actually got. So you can see all that collected mona. And we are going to clean this one more time just to get rid of all the dirt and all the other insects by having it filtered through another screen of mesh. But I just want to show you guys how much we actually caught from that five minute of work. So this is the daily routine that you usually do. And that's all the dirt that we don't want. And this is all the minor. So we've got a fair amount of them. And that would feed at least two fish. So we'll save this and then feed it to our fish in the morning.